Hi everyone, welcome to 51 Drones. My name is Russ, and this is a walkthrough of the new RC Plus controller from DJI. Now this is a new enterprise controller. This is not for consumers. You're not gonna be able to buy this for your Mavic 3 or your Mavic 2 Pro or your Mavic Air 2S or anything like that. This is only gonna be for enterprise drones. So this video is simply a walkthrough, an overhead view, of the controller. I'm gonna walk you through all the buttons and things like that. We're gonna get into the new layout of the DJI Fly app. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on the app because I will be doing that in some future videos on the M30 when I meet with some search and rescue people and some inspection people. And I might actually do a dedicated video. I haven't decided on that yet. If you do wanna see a dedicated, like complete walkthrough of the new DJI Pilot app, let me know down in the comments and I may do that in the future as well. So if you do have any questions after watching this, this video, put them down in the comments and I'll do the best that I can to answer them. So enjoy. Another big component of the new DJI Enterprise ecosystem is the new RC Plus. And so I'm gonna show you the controller today. I'm not gonna get into great detail of everything, but I just wanted to show you it and tell you the basics of it. I will be showing a more detailed tutorial on the controller in a future video when I get into some search and rescue type stuff, inspection type things, but I just wanted to show you this thing. It's really, really cool. DJI Enterprise has been wanting to offer something like this for a very long time because that's what enterprise customers want. They want that larger screen, they want that brightness. So it does have a seven inch screen with a 1200 nit brightness. The resolution is 1920 by 1200. So you can adjust everything right up here. It's an Android system. You can adjust your brightness, your volume of the speaker and everything there. Looking at the exterior of the drone right here is your control button. This shows you that this RC is in control of the drone currently. Uh, you can control the drone with two different, two controllers. So one person could control the gimbal, one person controls flight, or you can maybe be in separate locations for beyond visual line of sight operations. But that shows you that you are in control with this RC. The control sticks are spring loaded. The sticks are removable. So I think if you do want longer ones, you may be able to add some, maybe some third party control sticks. This is your uh, back button that goes back a screen. This is your return to home. Right over here is your power button. Here's the L1 through L3 and the R1 through R3 buttons. I wanna show you that in just a second when I get into the camera view. This is your 5D button, your five directional button, fully customizable. Right up here is your pause button. So this will pause anything that the drone is doing. Maybe it's doing a waypoint mission and you wanna stop it, or it's returning to home and you wanna stop it. That's gonna stop the drone in its tracks. Looking at the top of the controller, you have all of your ports, your micro SD, your USB-A, HDMI, and USB-C ports. On the left-hand side is your start and stop button for video. This is your flight modes. So you have normal mode, sport mode, and tripod mode. I'm not sure why it says F, but that is your tripod mode. On the right-hand side here is your shutter button for taking photos. This is your right control wheel, and this is for controlling the yaw of the gimbal. This is your left control wheel for controlling the pitch of the gimbal. It does have two external antennas that are fully um, removable or uh, adjustable. It also has uh, four internal antennas in the handles of the controller right there. Flipping over to the back side, you'll find your C1, your C2, and your C3 buttons, and those are for customizing so many different things. It really is unbelievable, all the different customization options on this controller. And then this is your zoom control wheel. You can either use the wheel to control your zoom, or you can use the R buttons, which I'll show you here in just a second. This is your battery bay. You can go ahead and click on that button right there. That opens up the battery. It does come with an internal battery, which gives you about three hours and 16 minutes of life. If you want more, you can get the external WB37, I think is what it's called. And you can get that, I think that's an option. And that gives you up to six hours of life with that external battery. So this bay right here, there's a dongle in here for 4G, which is not yet available in North America, but hopefully soon. Flipping back over to the front side of the controller, let's get into the camera view and the user interface. Right over here, you can set up waypoint missions, you can set up um, oblique missions, mapping missions right there. So right here is your album. This is, I don't have my SD card in there right now, but that'll show you any photos or videos that you've taken on your SD card. Right here is where you're gonna bring up the Flight Hub and the live streaming. Now Flight Hub 2 is something that is really, really cool. And I'm not gonna show it to you in this video. I'll show it to you when we get into visiting with some search and rescue people. But the purpose of Flight Hub 2 is setting up like a team. Like, like you could have a control center, command center, 
You could have your pilots hooked up to Flight Hub. You could have law enforcement with their mobile devices set up so everyone on the team can see what's going on at any time. And so it's it's really, really cool. So I'll show you that in, uh, in an upcoming video. And then right here is Academy if you want to learn about DJI Enterprise and things like that. Let's get into the camera view. When you click on that, it's going to bring up your pre-flight check. You can adjust your obstacle avoidance settings right here, your return to home, your max altitudes, your max distance, shows you the temperatures of everything. Right here is your health management system. You're going to click on that. If there's anything that needs to be addressed, it'll be yellow or red. And you can see right now the avionics is giving me a yellow and that's because I don't have the prop arms unfolded. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to fly until those are unfolded. So. If anything does need to be addressed, it shows you right here. If you're all green, you're good to go. Let's go back, click on the X. That's gonna bring us to the camera view. So right here is your FPV. This is the camera that's actually on the fuselage of the drone. A really nice wide angle of view. You're gonna click on that right there and that's gonna bring up the wide camera. So, oh, I have the gimbal way up. I'll put that down, so. So this is the wide angle. This is the camera that you're gonna use most of the time when you're flying and uh, and you can either click on the screen to go back and forth between those, or that's what these buttons over here, the R through R1 through R3 or the L1 through L3. So you can click on R3 and that's gonna bring up your FPV camera or your wide camera, okay? Over here, if you click on L1, that brings up your infrared or your thermal camera. Your settings for the thermal camera are right up here so you can change your colors. Color settings are right there. You can do a split screen. So you can have one camera on this side, the infrared camera on that side. So click L1 again, that brings you back to the wide camera. L2 is going to bring up your zoom camera. So right now it's zoomed in. I'm going to zoom out by clicking on R2. So there's a 2x and then it has an optical zoom. It's not a very good example here, but I'll show you that when we do the flight demonstration. But it has a 2x up to 20x optical zoom and then all the way up to 200x digital zoom. This button right here, the L3 button, this is going to set a pin and this is for um, I'll explain it more when I do a demonstration with the search and rescue team, but a good example for setting a pin, let's say that your law enforcement's following a suspect and the suspect stole something, a bag of money, and they're running from the police and they throw the bag of money in a, in a tree or in a garbage can or something like that. And the people on the ground can't see that, but the drone pilot can see it. He can pin that exact location and that'll set GPS coordinates. And then, then on Flight Hub, any member of the team will be able to see that and say, oh, well, that's where he dropped it. Let's go, to, let's navigate to that location. And so they can go pick up whatever that suspect dropped. So you can set several different pins. You can navigate to different pins. And so very useful feature. And so that's what the L3 button is for when you're in the camera view. If you're in the map view, L3 is just gonna bring you back to the map view. So that's what that button is for. Um, there's one other thing that I wanna show you if you're in the FPV mode. This little bell right here, click on L1, and that's gonna turn on your beacon. It does take a few seconds, but that turns on the upper and the lower beacons, and I just looked right at it. Not a good idea. <laughs> so that's what that's for. And so it's really nice to be able to either use the buttons or just simply tap on the screen. So, so that's the user interface. Oh, I'll show you real quick here. On the upper right-hand corner is the three dots. If you've flown DJI drones, you know what the three dots are for. That's gonna bring up all your different settings, um, aircraft battery, gimbal settings, you can set up your RTK here, your common settings, um, your obstacle avoidance can be set right there or on the um, pre-flight screen. So, And then here are your camera settings so you can set it to auto or manual. And then your video settings and photo settings are right there. Like I said, I'll show you that in a future video. So that's the RC Plus, very, very nice controller really fun to fly with this thing. It's really nice to have all your information with your heads up display right here. If you're in your FPV, you got your heads up there. So all the information that you need to see when you're in a flight is right on the screen. So very, very nice. Um, I think DJI did a really good job with this. All right, so there was a walkthrough of the new DJI RC Plus Enterprise Controller. As you can see, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Seven inches, 1200 nits, I mean, this is something that I think a lot of enterprise customers have wanted for a very long time. So I'm so glad that they brought it and made it available. So again, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments and I'll do the best that I can to answer them. And subscribe if you wanna see more content on the M30. I have at least two more videos coming and probably more because I'm, I'm pretty excited to show you guys everything that this drone can do. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. And as always, fly safe and fly smart.